Hey guys and gals, I got another one for you today. Today, there's a brand new Tier 7 Heavy Russian Tank dropped into the store, a Dreadnought KV-2. However, this is a Tier 7 rather than Tier 6, so let's take a quick peek at how it stacks up to its Tech Tree brother. Starting with the engine, right away we can see it has a significant horsepower buff, 2 kilometers an hour better in top speed, and we'll need it. Yes, this thing sees Tier 9s with no armor buff. Hang on now, I'm getting ahead of myself. The power ratio is much better at 16 0.74 horsepower to ton ratio for faster acceleration. Next, the reason anyone would consider this behemoth is the 152 millimeter derp gun. Comparing it to the tier 6 counterpart, its accuracy is better in all but turret dispersion. And though it's better dispersion on the move, don't expect any snapshots to hit and just laugh hysterically when they do. Its aim time is significantly better, elevation and gun depression angles are on point, and to top it off, it has one second faster reload. Before you freak out about a better handling KV-2, remember this thing is up a tier. Say goodbye to tier 5 tanks but not many people will enjoy their games in tier 9 matches. Next, we have the tracks, and you can see the Dreadnought is going to turn a bit quicker with 2 degrees extra of rotation speed, and a bit better ground resistances, being able to get around the battlefield much easier. For the turret, we got an extra 20 meters view range, and once again the buffed up turret rotation speed a couple degrees per second. Moving into ammunition, start with a standard AP round. The Dreadnought has equal damage, but a buff on penetration and velocity. I don't know why anyone would even equip these shells or why they even allowed them to be inside this tank. Next we see the needed change. Uh, if you're going to see higher tiered competition, a premium AP round isn't going to cut it. The Dreadnought is equipped with a heat round for its premium round and gets good penetration at tier 7. And last but not least, it's HE shell. Capable of making tier 5s and 6 disappear back to the garage. The shell velocity is up, unlike the penetration on these rounds, but you'll still be lobbing your shots because 700 meters per second isn't anything to brag about now for the armor well i'll keep this short even though the colors look a little different they're identical finally just overall comparison it's a buffed up kv2 but the buffing is necessary since the dreadnought will be seeing some of the best tier for tier tanks in the game it does get an hp buff as well this tank will sell and have a following no one has or plays the kv2 because it's a great tank but rather they play it for the lols this will be similar and i think people will tire of seeing tier nines so it'll eventually die down but i'm happy to say that's a burden they must overcome to be able to beat on newer players at lower tiers. I personally will not be picking it up. If I get the derp gun itch, I'll jump in my T49, Sheridan Type 5, or Shit Barn, the 4005. If you pick it up, don't play it as aggressively as you play your KV2. You'll need to be a bit more careful. If you're missing shots, you'll pay for it dearly. Expect focus fire and premium rounds, even if they're not necessary. Oh no, guys, I didn't forget. Just saving the best for last. That's right. It's not the gun that makes this thing worth it. The radio has a significant buff. 290 meters signal range boost? That is incredible. That's all I got for you guys. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.